What happens to people after they win long-term prizes and competitions? A neighbor won $500 a week for life. He quit his job, divorced his wife, and moved into a small apartment across town where the rent was cheap and now he almost never leaves. He has everything delivered to his house from Amazon, living the dream. My older cousin won five grand a month for life. It ruined him. He got all paranoid about people only wanting to be around him because he had money. We live in a rural, fairly low-wage area, so that's a lot of money to some people. If you ever mentioned it to him, he just stopped talking to you. He's pretty much a loner now with almost nothing to show for it. That's kind of scary. Why doesn't he move? This is where his mother lives, and he's not the type to venture out into the world. One of my friends won a $5,000 a week for life prize in the New York lottery a few years back. It's actually only for 40 years, but that's plenty of time to save for retirement and live a long, happy life. He's doing well because he isn't acting like a lotto winner. It's as if it was the social security he was receiving previously. He's disabled. He still has his friends, too. It pretty much went as best as possible. I once won a year of free groceries. They gave me 52 $100 gift cards to use any way I wanted. I was single and ate and drank like a gosh darn king that year. Nobody went hungry when I was around. I won free toilet paper for a family for life, which is $62 a month. I give them to a homeless shelter. Do you give it to them because it's full of bums? Web developer here. I made a website for a local pizza chain. The owner paid me, then asked for support. I gave him a price, 75 bucks an hour, and he suggested free pizza for life instead. I took it. I've enjoyed excellent quality free pizza about 10 times since 2006. He's had me do about an hour's worth of maintenance. I just walk into one of his stores, order a pie, and when they ask for payment, I say, call Tom. They do, they talk, and then they hand me the pizza. It's kind of cool, actually. It sounds like it's only free pizza for you for Tom's life. Once he dies, they'll have no way to confirm it's free. Well, that story was written nine years ago, so I'm not sure if Tom's pizza chain is still going. Honestly, good on the developer for not fully taking advantage of the place. I won free movies from Blockbuster for a year. It ended up only being one rental per week. After a couple of weeks, I realized it was just a coupon for one free rental and I used it as often as I needed. Eventually, I modded my original Xbox and started renting multiple games a day and copying them to my hard drive. I killed the Blockbuster. I once won a year's supply of calendars from a local gift shop. They gave me one calendar worth $2.99. <laughs> That's frickin' brilliant. I got, quote, free pizza for a year. 12 pizzas. I got 12 pizzas. It was about a month ago and I've used around four of them already. It's not gonna last a year. I got free Oreos for life. I won an Oreo stacking contest when I was 10. I'm 21 now and glad to say that I don't have diabetes. I won free bagels from a bagel shop for a year. It was good for 13 bagels, two loaves of bread, and two tubs of cream cheese and spread each month. I tried three different locations and none of the managers believed that the voucher I won was legitimate at their store. They all gave me different reasons for why they wouldn't accept my voucher. Okay, this one makes me angry. Like, what the frick? They probably throw out more spoiled product than that every day and they won't honor your damn coupon? I won a year's supply of dog food when I was 10 and tried to convince my mum that it was the perfect time to finally get a dog, as it must be a sign. We didn't get a dog. I gave the vouchers to my neighbor. My parents were in the first 50 people at a new car wash place and got a free car wash for life. I'm convinced your parents are unknowingly partaking in a laundering scheme. The car wash is a front to launder money, but they need to make it look like people use the car wash in order to report high cash incomes. So they give out vouchers for free car washes to make it look like they have a lot of customers, but really they're just stuffing the registers with dirty substance money. Apparently, I made a Breaking Bad reference, but I haven't got that far yet, I'm only on season 2. Thanks for the spoilers. I entered a radio competition in the 90s for free music every month for a year. I didn't win that, but I won the consolation prize, which was a copy of Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill. We already had a copy of Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill, by the way. A rep from the station told me they'd mail it out on the 15th. Well, it arrived, but it never stopped arriving. On the 15th of every month, a copy of Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill would show up in the mail. This happened till we had about six copies of Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill. I called and asked the radio station if they could send something else besides Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill, but they did not. They just corrected their error. Later that year, my sister got a birthday present from one of her friends. When she opened it, it was a copy of Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill. 
I won free iced coffees for a year from Dunkin' Donuts, but instead they sent $500 in gift cards. I'm not mad. Interestingly enough, my girlfriend also won the exact same contest. Three-day contest, and she won the first day, and I won the third and final day. One free scoop of ice cream a week from the local ice cream place. This was for winning an ice cream eating contest. Yum! A family friend frantically brought a scratch shaft while fleeing a road rage driver. She was telling the clerk to call the police on a parked car that had followed her to the gas station. She now gets 3k a week and works because she wants to, not because she has to. Every gift she gives now comes with a lotto ticket. Last week I went in to buy a specific lottery number for like 2 bucks, but then the guy ended up saying something that I couldn't quite hear, that I agreed to. He printed me off like one of every lotto ticket. It cost me over 20 bucks. I was positive that I would win though because I never intended on buying the ticket, and that's exactly when I feel like you'd have the highest chance. I lost it all. £40,000 per year for life on a £10 national lottery scratch card. It was that or one million up front. I just turned 21 at the time, so my dad made me take the annuity because I just spunk the one million in a couple of years left to my own devices. Now it's good. I take care of my mortgage every year, so my salary is just for me and my family. We get a nice couple of holidays a year, but we don't live to excess. 27 years old now, so we'll see if I reach over 1 million over the next 40 or 50 or 60 years. My friend won free lunch for a year at a school fundraiser, but he had to enter in his account number so they could at least document it. He was promptly given a limit on how much he could have. My neighbor won 1,000 bucks a week for life on a lottery scratch-off ticket. I haven't seen him around recently, but he lived at his childhood home with his parents for a while and owned two Corvettes. He also loved dogs and would always stop me to pet my dog when I would walk by. He was always a nice guy who seemed to be smart with his winnings. I won a year of free Uber, the on-demand car service for those unaware, for pretty much all of 2014. I used it a lot, to and from work, the airport, in many different cities, took my friends out to the bars, to the beach, anywhere, met a lot of interesting drivers. Paid taxes on it this year because it counted as income, but it was definitely worth it. The contest was at a college bowl game that Uber sponsored. I had to catch the most passes in 35 seconds, which were thrown to me from NFL WR Tavern Austin. I beat my opponent by one catch. I received a fixed amount of Uber credit per month, so it was actual cash value that counted as income. Hence, I received a 1099 MISC. However, I was glad to pay the tax considering the value I received. The narrator wonders if you'd be taxed regardless of how much you actually used it if you're just being given credit per month. I guess you could just make a point of taking an Uber everywhere. Screw fitness and fresh air. I won a year's supply of Nestle sweets and chocolates in a quiz on the radio when Toy Story 2 came out. You had to answer three questions about Toy Story, then you got entered into a draw to either go to space camp in Cape Canaveral or cowboy camp in Arizona, but you got the chocolate for just getting on the radio. I got the three questions right, but some other kid won the draw. Then the chocolate just arrived in one big shipment. Huge boxes of it. It was literally incredible. Then my mum made me bring it into school and share it out amongst everyone in my year. A few kilos of chocolate, and I hardly saw any of it. Ungrateful little jerks ate it all in minutes. I'm still bitter. My family won free KFC for a year when I was in the 8th grade. We got a 30-piece family bucket each month, but had to pay for everything else. It was pretty decent. A grocery store chain had a win a year's worth of bananas contest a couple of years ago. I had to watch a video about how they store their bananas and then answer a question. I thought, what the hell, my kid loves bananas, and entered. And I won. They sent me a gift card for the equivalent of a year's worth of bananas. 300 bucks. We spent most of it on meat. Totally worth it. I feel like maybe you won because you were the only one who entered. The sister of my friend won a car when she got a special Oreo in a packet. You could win different prizes depending on what your special Oreo said, like trip or car or whatever. Nabisco came to our school, we had a big pep rally thing, they gave the girl, who was like 13, a new VW Beetle filled with packages of Oreos. Everyone at the school got a pack of double stuff Oreos. They'd just come out. It was awesome. The girl's parents sold the car and started a college fund. Anyone who went around to visit got tons of free Oreos. I think they eventually just donated hundreds of packets to a food bank. That's a pretty awesome story. Most people who win cars full of food just end up in a car crash and with diabetes. Free Chick-fil-A for a year. Just had to be one of the first 100 people at a new store. It's pretty good. Yes, they do this at every Chick-fil-A, and no, I'm not in your city.
I read an article for college about lottery winners in Sweden, and gosh darn does it sound difficult on your social life. Friends of the winners felt like if they were buying food and looking for deals, or being sensible with their money, that they should relax and not worry too much, you have loads of money. Also, that the winners should pay for the meals and drinks just because they were better off. But the kicker was, when the lottery winners spent too much on something or did anything out of the ordinary with the winnings, the friends told them not to be careless with the money and to smarten up. Basically, a vicious circle for the winners where they were doomed if they do and doomed if they don't. Any similar experiences for lotto winners out there? Simple solution, just make sure you don't have any friends. I'm almost there. You can submit your own stories to be featured here on the channel. The story submission link is in the description below. And if you want to listen to some vibey music in the background, check out Easy Mode, also linked below, and subscribe. Every now and then I get lucky enough to be the one millionth visitor to a website. I'm still waiting to collect around 30 iPads. I have a friend who won the Set for Life Scratch and Win Lotto. You get $1,000 a week, tax-free for 25 years. So yeah, about 52000 per year. It's a 1 in 880,000 chance to win. He was offered a lump sum of a million dollars, $300,000 less than the total prize over time, and he turned that down. He went to school for a few years until he was basically sick of it all. These days, he just spends his time drawing anime. He doesn't leave his house. He doesn't want to hang out with anyone. And he seems to just whittle away his money on impulse Amazon purchases. He has another 15 years or so worth of the lottery. He's been unemployed for the last 10 years. When he runs out of money, everyone pretty much sees that he will be royally screwed. My grandfather won the lottery for two million. He died two years later to prostate cancer. My mom was the recipient for the remaining 18 years of $80,000 a year after taxes. That time period has now expired. When I was younger, my brother won a 7-Up bottle cap contest which either allowed you to appear on TV or get a pair of 7-Up boxes. He chose the boxes. Good choice. TV is for suckers. I won the boxers too and they never came in. I just frickin' remembered right now. Not me, but my brother was hit by a car when he was seven and my parents had a killer insurance policy on him. He gets 7,000 bucks a month for the rest of his life and got 1.2 million when he was 25. Since he was 15, he's been addicted to smack, been in jail six times for violent crimes, one of which very nearly killed a guy, and has five children with five different mothers. Because of the kids, he pays almost all of his settlement money in child support every month and has to work as a dishwasher at a crappy diner to get by. The 1.2 million was spent long ago on substances, cars he destroyed, and parties he threw for his friends. A friend of an acquaintance won $2,000 a week for 20 years or something. He spends it mostly on smack. His smack dealer is the real winner. No taxes at all. In middle school, I was in a science class that won a contest for free M&Ms. The teacher got all of our information to make sure we all got our share after it got sorted out, as it was approaching summer break. None of us ever got our M&Ms, and I can only assume the teacher ate them all himself and won himself some diabetes. Years after World War II, the German government began paying reparations of sorts to victims' families for the atrocities that had befallen certain people. I don't know what it used to be, but once a year we get something like 14 bucks in the mail. It's a bit odd. I'm not sure this can be considered a win on balance given what your family had to go through to be awarded this 14 bucks per year. Good lord. Also, apparently the German government pays out billions per year this way in total. Who knew? I won free Applebee's for a year, which turned out to be $600 in gift cards. Kinda lame. Spent most of it on beer. Free beer is never lame, young grasshopper. I mean, it's better than the food at Applebee's. You remember when Snapple had that win nothing promotion? I was with my girlfriend at a restaurant and opened one. Under the cap it said, you win, no thirst. I thought to myself, duh, I'm drinking one right now. I thought it was a gag. Tossed the bottle and went home. But for some reason, it bugged me. I looked it up online and sure enough, I'd won a lifetime supply of Snapple. And my clueless butt threw away that cap. If it makes you feel any better, I threw away a nice LCD-sized screen in the McDonald's trash. It was a World Cup promotion in Germany in 2006. You had to have two tickets. One had the left half, the other had the right half. I had one half and the new ticket was the other half. I thought it was the same half I had, so I pitched it. It wasn't the same half. I still have the other half of the winning pair sitting on my bookshelf to remind me of the one and only time I ever won anything, and I threw it away.
Years ago, M&Ms were having a contest where you could win something like $10,000 a year for the rest of your life if you opened a special pack of M&Ms. I was at work one day, opened a pack of peanut M&Ms at my desk. They had bits of other color shells stuck to the outside of all the candies. I looked at them, thought to myself, this is weird, and then ate them and threw the package away. In the next couple of days, I saw a commercial letting me know I'd screwed myself out of some serious cash. The girl sat across from me, thought it was hilarious. My question is, did I lose my one chance at something glorious, or is there something still in the cards for me? I remember there being an M&M's contest when I was a kid, where if you found one grey M&M in your bag, you would win some astronomical amount of money, or something like that. My brother and I informed our dad, and the three of us promptly went to the corner store to pick up a couple of bags. We were chowing down on our M&Ms and keeping a sharp eye out for any grey pieces. Suddenly, my dad holds one up and says, Oh look, a grey one. My brother and I promptly lose our minds until dad goes, Hmm, looks pretty tasty though. He pops it into his mouth. The sound of the grey M&M crunching between his teeth sounds distinctly like the shattering of our dreams. His maniacal cackling was drowned out by our distraught wails. Turns out if you suck the food coloring off the brown M&Ms, they turn grey. Monster Energy was having a competition at my college, and they were for some reason having it at the new dorms that hadn't opened yet. Well, I happened to be touring the dorms on room selection day and had a nice conversation with the guys at the table about Fallout 3, which had come out five months prior. Because I killed their loneliness, they gave me about 100 entries into a contest for free Monster Energy for a year. Well, only about 30 or so people had entered at that point, so I figured why the heck not, and filled them all out right there. Of course, I won, but the catch was we got all the monsters at once so I was given 365 cans of Monster. Things did not go well from there. I drank myself sick on Monster just because it was free, and the school's tap was horrible. One of my roommates drank so much Monster that he had heart palpitations and had to go to the emergency room. We did make some awesome can pyramids, though, which was pretty fun. I won a year's worth of chocolate. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate, I'm more of a savory person myself, so I was expecting my winnings to last well over a year. It ended up lasting less than a month. Everyone kept taking a few bars here and there, thinking I wouldn't notice, since there was so much. By the time I actually went to get some for myself, there were two bars and a pack of hot chocolate mix left. I didn't win anything, but I am now getting my pension. That, with my savings, gives me a budget of just over $100,000 per year. Just under $2,000 per week. So far, it's great. No more commute, and no more bullcrap meetings. I can sleep in as long as I want, get on Reddit as much as I want, and pretty much do whatever I want within reason. Basically, it tastes like freedom. I never thought I'd get to tell the internet this story. I won a lifetime supply of butt lubricant from a local adult shop near my hometown. My girlfriend and I were visiting from our home on the coast of the state in which I live. We drove past the shop and I remarked that I remembered when it was a tiny store only about 800 square feet in size. It's huge now, easily more than 6,000 square feet. She remarked that she'd never been inside and was genuinely curious. We went in and looked around for a while, and a cute girl behind the counter asked if we had entered their yearly prize drawing. Nope, we entered our information. A few months go by, and I'd long since forgotten about it. I got an email and a voicemail message one day telling me I won a lifetime supply of clean stream water-based lubricant. It turns out you get one 8-ounce tube each month. You must pick it up in the store, but if you can't make it to the store that month, you can call or email and request it to be put on hold until you can try to make it by there. Until my girlfriend and I broke up, I was making great use of the stuff since she enjoyed doing the deed that particular way. Now though, we've been broken up about three months and I have seven full bottles of this stuff that need to get used. I'm gonna have to start dating again, I guess. I mean, it's probably gonna be a good line on the first date. So, I won a lifetime supply of this stuff. Not me, but during the time of the Vietnam War, my grandfather was convinced by some shady dude to buy a stake in an apartment building. Fast forward to today, and he gets $350,000 in the mail per year from the building, which is apparently doing very well. My grandfather has to do absolutely nothing in return. Pretty sweet deal. I get free burritos for a year from Moe's and it's still going strong. I know I didn't win it per se, but the way I got it was by waiting in line for three and a half hours to be one of the first 50 customers. I had to go away to school, so I haven't really been able to use the pass that much, but when I've been home, I've eaten a lot of burritos. I've won free petrol for life and it's been amazing so far. There was a new McDonald's opening up around campus and they offered free Big Macs for a year to the first hundred people there. One free Big Mac per week. A bunch of my friends and I got up at 3am to go wait in line for our Big Mac vouchers. 
It's currently week 28, and we all want to die, but we have to use them. We're poor college students, damn it. My dad won a year of free Great Harvest bread, which amounted to one loaf of bread per week. It was delicious. Well, I brought a $1 scratch ticket and I keep winning my dollar back. Every time I go to the gas station, I use it to buy another $1 ticket and I keep winning it back. So there's that. When I was working at a pizza place, we had a guest who got free pizza for life. But he didn't win it, he earned it. Our store was robbed and as he was just pulling up to pick up his pizza, he noticed what was going on inside and didn't leave his car. So when the robber drove off, he followed him and got his license plate number and then came back to the store so he could give it to the police. The robber was arrested with all the money and even the checks addressed to our pizza shop still in his car. The guest got free pizza for life. He only came once a month or so, though I don't think there was even a limit on it. When you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications. Put the playlist on in the background to finish listening to all the stories, or if you want some vibey music to put on in the background, check out Easy Mode. If you like Am I the Genius, give Am I the Jerk a shot. Everything linked in the description.